My name is Leszek. I'm with Wikimedia Deutschland. More about it in a second. I would like to share a few lessons learned uh, of, of, of doing an open source software development for a couple of years. In that organization, maybe a few words about Wikimedia first. Uh, the name might not be might be similar to, to some website that you might have heard of, uh, the, the, the free encyclopedia website, and it's not a, it's not by accident. So, Wikimedia Movement is a global community of, of, of folks who are committed or dedicated to free knowledge. So, there are two sides of it. Kind of one is the contributors, people who uh, create content on Wikimedia projects, including Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia that you might heard of, and, and there are also other projects. And there is also a software side of it. There is a media wiki software which is the, the underlying wiki software, and there's, there are some other software pieces in it. Uh, and I will not focus on the community, the content creation part of it. I will focus on the software part in this uh, talk for the next couple of minutes. And there are two uh, organizations that I would like to call out here. One is Wikimedia Foundation, which is US-based nonprofit. They are the folks who host Wikipedia and do the, the whole operation side of it, and they are the main, main maintainer of this, of this wiki software. And there's also Wikimedia Deutschland. Deutschland is a German for Germany, in case you haven't come across that. So we are a German chapter of the Wikimedia movement, and in terms of uh, software development, we, we focus more on the, on the uh, projects called Wikibase and Wikidata, which are, to, to oversimplify it, there are uh, knowledge graphs that are uh, curated in a wiki way. And this is, uh, Wikimedia Deutschland is also my employer who sent me here, thanks for that. Um, and I would like to start with, with a bit of reflection, or uh, I'm sure all folks in this room have been thinking about it, what is open source, and there were, um, it was mentioned multiple times in the keynotes in the morning, so, so uh, people way smarter than me have shared their thoughts about what open source is, so it's a bit embarrassing and, and, and feeling silly to, to, to share my uh, idea about it, but do it with me. Um, so if I ask Wikipedia, uh, what, wiki, uh, what, what open source is, there's the, this, this highlight on, on the license and on the permissions to, to, to use and distribute the, the, the source code. And, and, and folks like Gabriele or, or, uh, or Niti earlier today mentioned um, what, 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 is, what is truly open, what is, what is openness and all those kind of things. So the, opens, the license is very important, but um, and looking at what Wikimedia Germany does, uh, it seems that we, we use the right licenses or whitish, uh, or, or basically all source code that we create is public uh, on, the, on those platform there, so it seems like we are good. But then I cannot help to, to think that, uh, that open source is, is, is more than that. So, so, so to me, open source is, is, is a tool, it's not the tool, but it's one of the tools that could, could bring equity to tech, so it's, it's kind of, it could be a tool of, that could, could drive the, the social or social or economical change. So, so, so you don't have to be a big tech organization in order to create a successful software project, product, or you don't have to be a big tech organization to solve real people's problems. So I have this, this idea of a thriving ecosystem of, of projects that, that enable each other. So apart from equity, the enablement is also a part of open source in my mind. So my former colleague Pablo uh, used to make the reference to this saying of standing on the shoulders of giants. So basically I, I imagine this, this, this world where folks build upon others' work uh, they don't have to solve all the problems themselves, but also they, they also give back what, uh, what problems they have solved. So anyone who should be enabled through it and, and, and build software uh, um, that allows that. And with that kind of extended, in quotes, definition, I would like to share, uh, I, I did a bit of, of lame analysis on, on my own, how, how, my, how Wikimedia Germany does, and I would like to share some numbers. I'm not saying these are good numbers or bad numbers, I actually do not know. Um, but when I looked at our flagship um, software pro project called Wikibase, we had uh, a bit more than 1,200 uh, commits or contributions this year, and out of those, uh, seven folks have, have made contributions who are not non-Wikimedia staff, and they made 75 uh, contributions there, so this is less than, uh, than a percent there, I guess. And um, when I look uh, at our GitHub organization, we have 55 54 members there, and I looked uh, at what those folks have been doing, myself included, in, in, in 2023 so far. And uh, those users, or eight of them, made uh, 130 co contributions to non-Wikimedia related projects. I myself apparently didn't do none as well. So I think uh, it cannot help the feeling that we as Wikimedia Germany could be doing, do, doing, doing better than that. Um, so I did a bit of, uh, with my colleagues and my uh, peers in the community, we did a bit of analysis what, what we're doing, and being a software engineer and uh, agile practitioner at heart, 
I couldn't think or couldn't help approaching it a bit like retrospective. So I will share four highlights. Uh, there were many takeaways, but given the short time I have, I, I will limit to just a few. And so I will I, I kind of frame it in the in the, in, the, in the framework of drop at keep improve uh, retrospective if you if you know the format. So um, the thing that seems to me like this the, the most pressing issue or the the, 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 the biggest the biggest anchor for us that's to stop us from, from being more open source that we are so far is, is is falling into this not invented here trap. So you might you might you might know it or not, but uh, for, for 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 many reasons very often quite quite well uh, well these are valid requirements or, or valid reasons but uh, sometimes they might be excuses so often we because of security or, or the performance or we think we have special requirements we wouldn't use the the software which exists there but we will build our own solution for for a problem at hand and while again this is oftentimes justified what it also results is we build the software that no one else uh, uses in the project so we basically build a maybe the best software in the world but this is just for us and also we are not making that much of upstream contributions because then again we, we don't base our work on someone else's work so there is no one else no upstream to contribute to uh, and a related thing that i would like uh, us as wikimedia or wikimedia germany to, to change is open up for for a perspective of more than a single maintainer organization so we are in, this, in the setting that we are a single maintainer organization which makes maybe easy for us to fall in this not invented here think as, as well because we do not make the, the vision or, or what the, the what the software or the project should be very explicit so so as long as it serves our purpose is fine but we, do, we are not clear about it so that makes makes it hard for others to understand how how to contribute or, or what, what do i want to get from the software so if we if we made the if we allowed other other perspectives who who, who would then define what is the vision for the software it would also be easier for folks to contribute because they will understand what kind of things are needed, what contributions maybe would be welcome, what stuff makes zero sense to work on because nobody cares about it. And there was also quite an interesting talk a few minutes ago about um, giving compensation to open source contributors. I think this is a very important topic, but I think there's opposite side of spectrum that, that we ended up at some point in, in our history. So, so basically Wikimedia has hired almost all contributors that existed there. And I think that, that helps to burn out uh, or basically limit your open uh, your contributor base quite significantly because it's easier for folks to drop out if there are staff members uh, and if that's all the contributors that exist you, you end up again in the kind of software which is, which is in, in in its own cycle and no one else is contributing to it or using it thing that uh, that i would like to give a shout out to my colleagues at wikimedia germany is is, is supporting or helping build up those self-organized groups that that use the software or try try to build the software I give an example of Wikibase stakeholder group there. Um, they are very good uh, because Wikimedia Germany is, is, is a member there, but we are not exclusive leader. So this is kind of going towards what I was saying in the previous slide. So there's multiple parties who have some interest in the software. They know they, they, under, they have a idea that they, they can uh, articulate what they want the software to do. Um, and that could lead to, to a bit more meaningful uh, space for contributors and contributors. So this is kind of a step towards improving what we are missing that I think we, we, we should continue doing. And out of many things that I think we, we could be improving or should be improving is, I will highlight the overly complicated software architecture. So I think Nidhi Raf also mentioned in her keynote earlier today that, that one of the things that are important for open source is making it easy for developers. That's exactly the point I'm, I'm trying to drive here. So our software has grown over the years. You might know that as well. You have a kind of big monolith that, that would grow for a decade or multiple. It's hard to reason to contribute, but I think in our case, it's, it's, it's hard to get uh, paid stuff on, on board. It takes multiple months for people to be meaningfully fluent in what they're doing. So that might be even harder for folks who are not paid to, to, to work nine to seven, uh, nine to five on that thing. Um, and that's basically is a massive barrier of entry that, that it's, it's not for, for software architecture is important for many things. But in this, in this case, I think the barrier of entry is, is, is the thing I would like to flag. And I think I ran out of time or by two minutes, but thankfully I could start earlier. So that was it for me. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your stories. I'm also happy to discuss those points more with you folks throughout the conference. Thanks very much for listening. Have a lovely uh, time in Bilbao. And yeah, enjoy the conference. Thanks much.